Hey everyone, uh, Jimmy with Spooky Appalachia here. I am here today with a special guest star, the legendary Jared King from Jared King TV. How you doing, man? Here. I'm doing great, man. Like I said, honored to be here. This is the first time we've been able to do a collab, I guess. Yeah, it really is, man. We've really known excited. each other a while. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, I've got a special one that... Uh, I heard about this one at a uh, originally while I was at a flea market right along the uh, Virginia West Virginia border. There was a guy wearing a um, a wood booger, wood booger festival shirt, I think it was, and I was like, "Hey, man, wh where's that at?" And he told me it was in Norton, Virginia. I looked into wow. it. They they have a festival. They've got. Um, the Wood Booger Bar and Grill, which if you guys, I know Jared's seen it, but if you guys have seen my video on uh, Norton, Virginia, I went to the Wood Booger Bar and Grill, had the Wood Booger Burger, went to see the Wood Booger statue. Seems like there was one other thing I did in the video. Oh, I went to that lookout uh, past the statue. Oh, yeah, which the, was uh, really the cool. Overlook. Like, yeah, yeah, it's really awesome. cool. Yeah. I forgot, or actually, I didn't know, but there it was a foggy day. But there, there's actually the reason it's called Flag Rock is there's a if you look down the hill, there's a, a flag out on a rock by itself down there, which is really cool. Right on. But what really started all this? The legend of the wood booger in that area has gone back for well over a hundred years. Um, I think there was like some old newspapers from way, way back in the day uh, documenting the, the wood booger. They called it the wood booger because it uh, was kind of like the boogeyman and carried off kids who uh, uh, were out of their beds late at night or snuck out and stuff. But this video started the popularity like... Uh, in uh, Norton, Virginia, and caused the Finding Bigfoot show to come out there. Somebody recorded, and I'll show that now. Let's see. Yep, yep, that that works. <laughs> Guy just uh, you know, riding a four wheeler out in a river, and you see something over there in the distance, and he points at it. Do you get a good look? Are you able to see that okay? Yeah, what yeah, yeah. That? that is wow. I don't need to find no. If I need to try to make that any bigger, actually, hang on a second. Oh, good. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I've got it on loop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bigger. You can definitely see it there now. Yeah, man, that is huge. The person who, the person got the who got the video, let's see what they said. Um, all right. So they said this happened while they were uh, ATV riding on April fifth, two thousand nine, at approximately six thirty p.m. This was the second time they've seen the creature called the the Beast of Gum Hill. It, it, that's wow. that's one name they have for it. It's often called Wood Booger there. But this time, they managed to capture this video. This was the first known footage of the Beast of uh, Gum Hill. Uh, there was a photo taken in the early 80s. Um, he wrote about what camera he used. Um, he says he that? estimates that this uh, creature was... Uh, over seven foot tall and about 350 pounds just by guessing yeah well you know if you think about it and you really look at you know the scene and the distance that that thing is in and it, you can see it fairly fairly good yeah it's easily got to be well over what seven foot that? tall Let's see. I'm getting another good look at it.
Yeah, look at his size compared to that. That thing's huge. Right. Wow. Oh, it looks like to me they were just recording a video while they were, you know, out at the river with the four wheeler. I can't say yeah, I've ever taken right. a four wheeler out in the middle of a river like that, but I know people who have. Good gosh. Right. <laughs> but you know, if you notice, it kind of comes in maybe like a half brain. So it kind of makes you wonder if maybe it was aware of them before they got there. Oh, it kind of does there. look like that. And it was kind of maybe just hunkered down. Let's see. And as he got closer, it stood up and was like, no, nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Where is it at? Where does it come in to frame at? Oh, there it is. Right there. It looks like it, it's coming out from... But yeah, this is actually a, a, a really famous video. I will... Let's see... Mute? Oh, that cuts off the video. <laughs> I will mute the video and let it play on loop while we talk about it. But um, yeah, definitely an interesting one. It's a pretty famous uh, clip. So... The show Finding Bigfoot saw this clip and actually came out to Norton, Virginia, and uh, they were looking for this thing. And um, and then uh, the the area became uh, pretty famous, and a lot of, of uh, people from out of town started going there to try and uh, capture this beast of Gum Hill or Wood Booger on on video, or you know, catch it alive and they build a couple tourist attractions. They do, do the Wood Booger Festival. They do, uh, they've got the that restaurant and then that big old uh, Wood Booger statue out there on the top of that, uh, I guess it's a mountain, you would say. Yeah. But. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. You, you saw my video with that big statue. It, it was awesome. Yep. It was, man. That was a great video. That was probably one. I, dr I drove two and a half hours there and back to, to make that video. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I it. think it was. Were you going to say you know, something? something I was, yeah, I was looking at that. The more I look at that, you know, at first I thought maybe, like I said, it was already there and it had stood up. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it, it almost looks like it uh, maybe uh, comes around a tree or something. Because it looks yeah, like Yeah, to it me, it looks, looks like, like it comes around a tree it looks like it comes out from behind the trees right there yeah and then um it's just walking to me it looks like it doesn't notice what's going on and doesn't care yeah it's just like you know what i'm doing my thing yep. you do yep. your thing yep. we're good yep. <laughs> i think that was a pretty awesome clip um hmm. how could they have faked it uh the problem I have, it would have to be a huge person in a suit to be able to pull off something yeah. like that. Huge person. Huge. Yeah. And whoever that is, is walking across. Water. You know, walking across. The, yeah. And doing it with ease. Uh -huh. I mean, that would easily stride. You know, most folks, you know, you know, as well as I do, you know, when you're crossing like Creek Rock and things it's like difficult. that, you're having to be. Yeah, you gotta, you know you gotta keep your balance, not slip and fall because those rocks. Oh yeah, and another yeah, yeah, they're not taking big step, you know the big steps like if you were wearing wading boots and right. trying to walk across, right. you know, going boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that they they would have to be bringing their knees up higher. They wouldn't just be kind of yeah. casually walking like that. Yeah, that was one thing people pointed out was. Uh, or at least I had heard, maybe it was in Finding Bigfoot, I watched the episode a long time ago, was the way it walked through the water, just exactly like you brought up. It walked through with pretty much ease, you know? Right. I think it's a good video. I think it's really I good. Do too. Um, I mean, it seems like it'd yeah. be hard to fake to me. That's exactly what I was thinking, you know. That would really, really be hard to fake. Especially, like I said, you know... Uh, you know, like we were talking, you know, with the uh, the ease of going across it um, and everything. And, you know, and it's the video isn't exactly focused on it the whole right. time. And usually if someone's going to fake a video, you know, they want it seen clearly, plainly 
and it's mostly focused on that. Yeah, it looked like to me it was uh, some guys wanting a video to show off his new four wheeler, right? And then the Bigfoot was just kind of in it. I mean, wood booger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's a, it's a Bigfoot. It's just another name for it. But yeah, yeah. I I I I, I, I could, yeah. I think I I don't think this one was faked. I don't myself yeah. i like it it's a good video it definitely is if it is maybe one day to turn out to you know be proven fake it is a very well done fake. oh yeah i 100 percent agree but i'm gonna go with real on this one man i mean it's just wow yeah i think i'm there with you um let us know what you think in the comments has this ever been proven uh fake uh and why? Let us know. Uh, we, we'd like to know ourselves. I mean, I've thought this one is real for many years. It's one I've known about. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, Jared, thanks for coming on with this one for me. And, thanks uh, for having me, man. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we hope you liked the video. And check out Jared King TV on YouTube for sure. Show him some love. Go over there. Subscribe. Watch his videos. He does... Uh, he does stories, too. He does, uh, you know, I do more modern-day uh, stories that people send in, the recent stuff. He does stories from back in the day that people send in to him. It's all good stuff. It's similar stuff. So I think you all will like him. So be sure and check him out. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.